Hey, this is KRE, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use uh, Fruity Granulizer and SliceX to make a nice glitchy dubstep bass that sounds like this. For the sake of this tutorial, I've put together a basic uh, dubstep kind of beat. You get the idea. First thing you're going to do is you're going to want to find um, a vocal sample with a decent frequency range in it. Uh, here I've just got a bunch of like chants. That one sounds good to me. So going to a new uh, sorry a new pattern to do our bass work in. Uh, first thing you want to do is pitch this down so we get more low frequency content. So using the, the pitch knob right here. That sounds good. Uh, send this to a mixer insert. So right now I'm just sending it to 7. And on 7 I've got an Edison to record the sound. So make sure it's set to on input. Press the record button and then hit there, now I've recorded my sound. I'm just going to trim off the blank, uh, the blank space there. And now uh, go up to Channels, add one, Fruity Granulizer. In your Edison, click on the, this button here. It allows you to drag your sound and drag the sound into Granulizer. Now it's going to sound the same until we fiddle with the wave spacing and the grain spacing. So turn your wave spacing up to about 175%. And the grain space... Oh, sorry. Got that wrong. Turn it down to about 5. And the grain spacing up to about 175. Now, um, I'm going to go into the piano roll for granulizer. And I'm just going to add in a note at C5. Make sure it's about a bar long so you got lots of time to play with it. And then when I hit play, I'm going to fiddle around with the attack. That's the kind of th sound we're going for right now. So what you'll need to do is send uh, granulizer to the same mixer insert as you've got Edison in. And now in Edison, delete what you had before, get it ready to record, and then when you're ready, just hit play and fiddle with the attack. When you've got a decent sound there, stop the recording, uh, trim off the blank space, and what we're going to do now is we're going to resample what you've just recorded. Um, I won't go into the details in this tutorial, but if you check out my Noisia Respace tutorial, it goes all over resampling. So really quick, I'm g just going to resample this. Once you've got your uh, sound resampled a little bit in Harmer, you can uh, you can get rid of the Harmer, and you need to find channels, add one, SliceX. So I'm going to drag my sound into SliceX. Uh, you're going to want to slice this uh, using the medium auto slicing. It's going to give you a whole bunch of samples you can trigger here. So now we've got all our slices all uh, up here, and you can trigger them using the piano roll to get a really nice glitchy sound. And here's the final result of just a little bit of playing around. <laughs> 